In a week or two, all eyes are going to be on the United Arab Emirates. That's where the COP28 will be held. That is the, the latest global talk fest on global warming and climate change action. These conferences of the parties, as they're called, are big on virtue signalling and big on wealth redistribution. But as you know, they've done four-fifths of bugger all to reduce global emissions, which is their goal, much less actually improve the climate, as they pretend they'll do. They are, in effect, global conferences of delusion and grandstanding, and this year's is another amusing choice when it comes to the location. Yeah, the UAE and net zero, hey? It ranks in the top 10 as an oil exporting country and in the world's top 10 too as a gas exporting country. Yet here it is hosting the great green grab gab fest aiming for net zero emissions. It's like holding a conference on dairy-free diets in New Zealand or a teetotalers talk fest in Russia. But there's good news on the eve of this meeting a little sign that rational thought is getting a look in. Bloomberg is reporting that the US will lead a move to make sure the COP28 commits to massively expanding nuclear energy, in fact, tripling it by 2050. Reports suggest the UK, France and others will back this move. After all, there's absolutely no chance of the world reaching net zero without a much bigger share of nuclear energy. Tripling current outputs would lift nuclear from about 10% of global energy at the moment to at least a quarter of global energy in the decades to come. It's just another reason Australia needs to get with the program, join the modern world and start a nuclear program. After all, even in the Emirates, sitting on all that oil and gas, they've gone down that path. Have a look. Two hours west of Abu Dhabi and close to the Saudi Arabian border, you will find the Baraka nuclear plant. It's a massive site with four reactors and when fully operational, will provide a quarter of the country's energy needs. Yeah, that plant is up and running now. The Emirates wants to keep its oil and gas for export. It wants to diversify its energy inputs for security and economic reasons. And it wants to reduce emissions. So it's a no-brainer even in the UAE. No other country is silly enough to think they can power themselves with wind farms and solar factories. That idiocy is reserved only for Australia. As I've said from day one, this issue will destroy the Albanese Labor government in the end, but sadly it'll hurt the country for many years to come. 